herbicide. Sorry, pesticide. Insecticide. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so confused right now. Can you see what's going on? I'm being attacked. Check this out. I'm gonna try to be quiet here. But I wanna show you what's going on here. Oh, they noticed. Look what's going on. See the birds? You know what they're getting? Stay tuned and I'll explain exactly what's going on with my lawn. What's up everybody, Raul back with another video and today something's eating my lawn alive. But you know what? Whatever decided to visit is messing with the wrong Bermuda lawn. It will be checking out soon. Stay tuned. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my goodness. I never get a break here. Oh, car is now great. Okay, so the issue we're having here is the lawn has got hit with some kind of insects. I don't want to dig it up and see what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be grubs or something. Um, <clears throat> because the roots pull up really easy here and they seem to be eaten. They're very short and it's only in this section here where it's yellowing. And I've had this problem here before and I did treat it before I did put down the seed, but it's already been, what, two, almost three months? I would say it's going on probably three months. I got it. I'll put on the screen exactly how long it's been since I did the treatment. I know I did it weeks before or a week before I planted on seeding. So now it was probably due again, being that the bugs that typically do eat the grass usually come around June, July, August in this area. Uh, and this typically when I usually put it down, but I don't want to go ahead and pull any more of this grass up. This section here was loose already. It was green, but it was like a light color like this here. So I just pulled it all out, put some topsoil, and this grass will fill in. Uh, it's Bermuda, so I'm not even worried about that. But I did hit it with a granular and a liquid. <laughs> I'll put down the chemicals I did use here and uh, this is the first day being treated. It's, f it's a full day. I put it down yesterday and I also did the mow. So hopefully uh, we go ahead and take care of these bugs because the lawn is looking really good. Um, I also did cut this section over here and I did treat this area. Uh, I haven't showed you guys this part on camera yet. But this is a little section off to the side that gets a lot of shade. It's ugly <laughs> but yeah I got my crepe myrtles my foxtail ferns I got a hibiscus over there in the corner um, all these plants are doing really good here um, I did clean up the windows today so that looks good I wiped them all down it's looking good so yeah check this out everybody I don't want to touch the grass too much because I did treat it for the bugs so I did put down like I said I did use a granular and a liquid so I hit it both granular and liquid so basically how that works is I put the granular down and then I backtracked myself and I sprayed down the liquid waited a while because the liquid does have you know water application and then after that following morning I did water it in and then you got the smell of it also again uh, I did work today usually you'll see them start coming up after a watering but yeah uh, this section is filling in really good 
the color is popping really nice I hope this shows on camera you see that this section where I top dress is filling in really good this section is doing really well a lot of the brown stuffs going away I'm not even worried about that remember it was browning a lot here nothing see it's filling in it's coming back it's turning green haven't really done much here this is filling in this is getting thick here the spots that were here kind of turning green again uh, this section here is doing really well look at the color it's nice and thick looking good yellow spots gone which I'm happy about so yeah so take a look at that and you know what now that I think about it I'm wondering if these yellow spots that I got hit with are actually due to bugs let me see no those roots are planted yeah it was the people walking so I don't know if I said it in my videos before but I did extend the stakes here and the reason for that was because I was getting the UPS and mail drivers and all sorts of stuff people and packages dropped off and I only had the stake up to there so they would walk here they would walk here and this is where the grass was still kind of young they were tearing it a lot so when I wiped my hand across the top of the blades I was getting a lot of the leaf blades on the palm of my hand so they were basically just ripping off the grass by the movement of their foot so that's why this grass got affected a lot here and then if you wonder why I have it going this way is because when they did lay the cement instead of the people walking around into the street they were just popping over onto my lawn and walking here so they would pop over here and then walk 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 here and exit here so uh, if, I, if I were to put up camera footage of everybody walking by you would see they would actually exit where that second um, second stake is so that's why I had an issue here so you can see traffic here traffic here that's why it's important when you plant your seed you pretty much try to stay off of it as much as possible because and again time for watering but I'm not gonna water because I already watered earlier it's very important that you stay off of the grass as much as possible when seeding now me being I would say seven or eight weeks in if I'm wrong I will correct it on the screen and me hitting it with um, the treatments for the bugs the lawn is kind of taking it pretty good I haven't seen any side effects as far as uh, yellowing or damage to the turf so that's just a good sign for you guys to keep in mind that when you're seeding if you do get hit with bugs or anything do you think it's safe to put down uh, insecticides and stuff pesticides you know just to basically kill you know ants or or maybe grubs sod worms or you know cinch bugs whatever you're having a problem with um, as far as the Bermuda I'm not seeing any uh, visible damage to the turf um, it is actually still greening up really good so that's a good sign I mean it could turn for the worse tomorrow or Monday but as of right now it's not so the only thing that I did hit it with was I hit it with the real mower so that would be the second mowing and then I hit it with two chemicals a granular and a liquid form which I will post up here on the screen and what I also did was put down a fertilizer at a medium rate nothing crazy um, and that is is pretty much all this lawn has seen I did clean the windows today after work and yeah um, we're having that bug issue I don't know exactly what I got hit with but I know it is damaging turf because I'm able to pull it up 
and that's not a good sign luckily I caught it early uh, this would be the second mowing that I did and that's when I noticed it because when I went over with the reel mower I saw like a wave effect so when I came back I pulled on the turf and I noticed it was lifting and I also noticed that it was a little bit different in color so it could also be a dry spot but I doubt it because then I would have more damage here so I'm taking it as bugs and I'm pretty sure it is some sort of bug damaging the lawn I don't want to do any more digging up of the lawn so I don't I don't have information to tell you guys exactly what's going on with it but I do know a tell sign that when I did put this treatment down yesterday and then I watered it in today there were a lot of crows on my lawn and there haven't been crows on the lawn but they have been picking at stuff so something is dying here and they've been in this section Let's see if you can see it you see how this just lifts you see here and then right here it's good can't pull this up can't pull this up but it's only around this area see and if you pull this up the roots are like chomped like so I'm guessing it's a bug issue so I just wanted to take care of that um, so yeah we'll see how it goes everybody uh, hopefully it resolves um, I don't have too much damage yet that I can see saying you know that we dug up all that and with this damage I would say I'm about 90 let's say 98% or 96% of full coverage of Bermuda so if any little damage like this happen I'm not worried because it is gonna fill in it's not a big deal so this is I would say this was a success with the Arden 15 uh, CD I don't know when they're gonna come so I can finish the parkway strip because yeah I'm tired of it looking like that and probably when they do come to pull it out the Bermuda would already fill in because it's already pretty much starting to cover up pretty good I mean so far since I've done it I would say it's probably gotten I don't know good three inches in coverage that has been pushing out so yeah all right everybody that's what happened to my lawn that's the damage I'm suffering and it's not a big deal but it is when you're trying to establish a turf so that concludes the video I hope you enjoyed this one and wish me luck that we get all the bugs or tackle this problem and don't face any more issues as far as stuff going on um, I just want to be able to get a nice mow in take the stakes off once they cut this tree down and yeah um, other than that everything's looking good so I'll see you guys on the next one keep mowing and growing peace so I also did treat my red sister Thai plants my gardenia I did treat they smell beautiful this one I treated for sure uh, a little bit more because it is uh, have a little bit of uh, insect damage I did treat all my plants here and all over there all in the back I didn't treat uh, anywhere close to my avocado tree or my peach tree or anywhere around my orange tree um, so the fortnights I didn't treat but I did treat the canna lilies um, and the hibiscus but not the palms I didn't treat the palms palms don't really have too much issue for me here this one was really infested with bugs and this was actually a plant <laughs> that was really really badly damaged it looked to the point where it was dead and I'll put up a little video clip here maybe or a picture I have I think it's a video clip of my daughter pulling it out because it looked really dead but I told her Mia we're gonna bring this back watch and sure enough this is the way it looks look at that it's beautiful look how big that is they, they basically attach themselves to the branch of the plant 
and it looks like a little black pimple and they just suck the life out of the plant. I did treat this back section first before I did the lawn. So luckily I did have what I needed so I could treat for what's going on up front. Um, I should have been a little bit more prepared for the front, but I did treat it before I put the seed down. So I thought I would be okay. But again, we are in the beginning of August. So this is around the time that we usually see some damage to the lawn. So yeah, everybody, I just wanted to show you this plant and let you guys know that I did treat back here for bugs also. This one uh, will recover like this. Um, this one got a second hit yesterday. This one didn't because this one's coming back really good. You can tell here um, the leaves look phenomenal. Look at that color though. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm the only one that gets pumped on flowers and grass and plants and growing and mowing. So yeah. Just had to show you guys. Get pumped with me. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me go show you guys something else. I call him Loppy. Cause only from one side he's growing. I don't know everybody. Here's an update on the plugs. Not the plugs, but the pieces I pulled out of grass. I don't water these much because I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. And yeah, those are crispy. But yeah. I mean, I would say they're doing okay except for those. But I probably want to say I water these once every other day. If, if they're lucky, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with these anymore because the grass is filling in in the front and I pretty much don't have use for these. So if you see that ladder there, there's a big hive in there. This is the third time uh, neighbors taking care of it. They actually came to pull out the hive and harvest the honey, um, a beekeeper, twice and now um they're back again for the third time in a different location so i don't know what's gonna happen there but we got attacked by bees uh, when we were working back here me and my daughter so nothing big um but yeah so i'm just letting this be because i did want to do the curbing there and here and then basically push this lawn but the bees get pretty crazy during the day and when i like to do a project i like to start early and work throughout the day and knock it out i don't like to do little sections because i just get like that landscape you know that gardening pump but yeah i mean those bees ruin it for me i mean if you guys have any suggestions on what i can do I mean to keep them away from me so I can work um, yeah but if you go over there they'll start buzzing around you and yeah then you start making movements even if you're slow boom they'll sting you and that's what happened like I was already gonna start doing the leveling on the bricks and all I did was kind of move slowly and the bee just started stinging me so yeah I mean, he stung me and lights out for him because I took care of him. Um, I don't like hurting bees because, you know, they produce honey. But not when they sting me. Uh-uh. You sting me, I'm going to get you back. I'm actually thinking of doing another renovation back here. So any suggestions would be great. Uh, let me know what you think. What do you think I should do back here? A renovation should I just continue to push the lawn wait till next season let me know um, let me show you these plants actually without getting stung hibiscus these are awesome right here 
Look at these ones. I love these ones. These ones are they're so dark and red color. Yeah, I think it's called freckles. But it gives like a white little flower with pink little freckles on it. They're about that big. Looks nice. Yeah. Alright everybody. That's enough chit chat. Enough updates. You be there. See? One just went right by me. Uh-uh. I'm good. Alright everybody. I had to throw that in there even though I already ended the film I'm gonna end it again and I'm gonna tell you guys give me some suggestions back here give me some advice something leave a comment below so I could chat with you guys but like always keep mowing growing and I'll see you guys on the next one peace you see what that bird's doing He's getting all the bugs. Today I did clean up all the wood. So now it's looking really good. Neighbors are being a pain in the butt, honking their horns all the time because they know I'm recording. But yeah, cleaned up all the spider webs. Everything's looking good. Yeah.